Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shop has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. So to go back to the first question that I, well, one of the first questions, with everything that's going on, because uh, this is piggyback of what we were just talking about, everything that's going on today, is it still uh, a profession that somebody was like, I was thinking about it maybe a couple months ago, but now I don't know so much. You, what do you say to that person that's there listening right now, and they're an hour and change into it, yeah. and they're still <laughs> tacked in? Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say to that person? Are, are we still a go on that? Yeah. So honestly, I... I I think the answer is no. No. The answer is actually a must. <laughs> ah. It, it is, it is not to quote George Masvidal, it is super necessary. <laughs> you know, we, we need. We, Game bread. Yeah. We need, and for the most part, man, what I've seen, this is my experiences alone, the vast majority, if not all, of the recruits that are coming in now are extraordinary people. You know, we've, for the last year and a half, maybe two years, we've seen men and women come in to pursue a profession in the midst of hurricanes, yep. in the midst of a pandemic, mm -hmm. in the midst of racial tensions in the United States. Yeah. Civil unrest. Civil unrest. Yeah. Okay. A lot of pain. Yeah. And we need those type of individuals yeah. that are saying... I know all this is going on, but I am going to make a difference. I know this is going on, but if not for me, what, who else is going to do it? Yeah, yeah. So if you're listening to this and if you want to be a law enforcement in this day and age, it's because there's something special about you. Ooh. So, you know I, maybe kind of similar to like those people that jumped in right after 9/11 and said, "You know oh, what? Yeah. I got to do. I got a job to do. Yeah. I got. I'm going to join the military, and I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to head over, and I'm going to help out. And yeah. you know, so it's it, this is this is now our time. Yeah. This is 2020 when when you have to make those uh, decisions now mm. and say, yeah, "This. Yeah. I, I see what how bad it could get. I'm ready for it." And I'm, yeah. and I'm ready to hit the ground running and make a difference in that career. Yeah. And hopefully the difference that some people are asking for, yeah. too. And, and those are the men and women that we need. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. And we don't need the plan Bs right now. If you're not, if yeah. you're not that, you can, you can still be a firefighter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I didn't want to say oh, it, oh, but man. you said I, it. I talked I to some firefighters. Know. They've been getting yeah, upset I with love, us. I love firefighters. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, if it's that friendly, you know, that brotherly battle. Yeah, we got it is. On. Yeah, we love them, too. But yeah. if, if this is your plan A, and then your plan A is be a police officer and your plan a a a is be able you get me yeah Th this is for you because this is who we need right now we don't need someone that's on the fence we don't need someone that's lukewarm we need yeah. we need someone that's hot that says this is my passion yeah i've learned from everything that's going on i'm gonna go out there and make a difference like nobody's business i'm gonna go out there and treat people with respect i'm gonna go out there and be brave mm -hmm. and be courageous and i'm gonna go out there and make real good decisions Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and I'm not knocking of anything that's been going on. Yeah, but I am gonna prepare myself, like we said, right? Practice on my craft that when I'm placed in a situation that is extremely tough, I am gonna make so many right decisions along the way. Yeah, that is gonna allow me to succeed, make my department look well, protect everybody that I need to protect. Okay, and then encourage others to say, "Man, I want to be like Nick." You get me? I want to be like Justin. You get me? <laughs> uh, so it's not, hey, is this a good time to be in law enforcement? It's actually, this is a perfect time because who we're going to get are the ones that have said, hey, I am ready for this. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is why I signed up for it. Yeah. You know, I didn't sign up to you know, be behind a desk. I signed up to go out there and protect when I need to protect, but also connect when I need to connect. Okay? It's good. Sounds so, good, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in podcast land and on YouTube land. Dr. Major <laughs> Bravo Salud. Uh, salud. We want to get you back on. Do you guys have questions? I want to drink. If you have, if you have questions, you feel drink. free to throw them in the comments yeah. or tweet them to us. We'll get them anything back on like that. for sure. He's, yeah, throw them to us and we'll make sure he gets them next time. Yeah, that's correct. So I want to thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure. For your time. Uh, an awesome shirt. I'm gonna be, I know an hour and change into it. Looks it. like the one they gave me. I was gonna back say. Grade. I didn't want to say anything. Let me joke. Uh, let me, let me make a, fun of myself it's before it's a dare you. Shirt. Yeah. That's it. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, um, my SRO Do uh, Dobson that gave me this. <laughs> What's up, Nod Squad? Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Donut Shop podcast. 
you can head on over to the Donut Shop Podcast YouTube channel where we have the entire interview. While you're there, make sure to click subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we upload. There's going to be tons of new content, a whole bunch of guests. If you guys have any suggestions, head on over and hit us up in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you over on the Donut Shop Podcast channel.